Callie's most important command needs to be out, which means move away from something of value. That could be me. It could be me sitting, walking, standing, laughing, petting her. She needs to move away from food, beds, um, toys. She even needs to be able to move away from a dog bed. She needs to be able to move away if she's in a down on the floor or just standing next to me. All of these scenarios need to be proofed and practiced using out where she moves away, has that disengagement. This is the ultimate safety, ultimate safety for uh, her family. So I'm currently currently giving her a low-level e-collar cue with that leash pressure out and away from me. She can put the rest together. I do this warm-up a few times before I get rid of um, all those helpers and expect her to do it on her own. So two times a little leash reminder with the cue. Then I was here and I did this, which is a very physical response to help the dog know to move away from me. And then it was nice and relaxed. I want to do another relaxed one, but without her looking at the bed. Come here. Up. Nice. Oh, good job. Oh, good job. Oh, yes. Out. Hardest one, come here. Well, this and the couch, but you're not a couch dog. And if you have been a couch dog, no, no more. No more. Out. Now I'm gonna make her do it from the bed, which can be confusing. It's a hard one. I'm gonna add body language to help, and I'm gonna cue her out of three. Out. Good job. Out. She's a different bed. She's lost without her center bed. You see that? So I'm gonna let her, oh, there we go. I could have stepped into her again and been clear to disengage from me, but instead I, I don't know if I said anything, but here I tapped again and she was a little confused. Let your dog be confused sometimes, it's okay. Let them linger and try to figure out what to do. Do they come back to the bed? Do they move away? Do they lay down? Let them leave in some problem solving sometimes. So if I have a kid or something, good baby. Good baby, yeah, good baby. Good girl. Oh, yes. Wait, hey, I know. I know. So I'm walking my baby. Oh, yes, who's a good baby? Who's a good baby? Callie out. Good. I want to be able to move my dog out of my space easily without having to raise my voice, without having to do e collar. Okay, hush up. So, so I want to be able, I want to be able to do that really easily. Um, but that might take some practice, some higher levels, a firm tone of voice, you know, things like that. It, it could take some real practice. So I could call her over to me, but she's not allowed to sniff the baby. Oh yes, because you gotta imagine how many diapers you're gonna change on the couch, maybe on the floor. Hopefully nowhere near your dog, if your dog has any any issues at all. But um, if you're doing it from the from the couch, you don't want your dog to come up and think they can just sniff. And if they do, you want to easily be able to have your dog O U T and move away. Hi, mommy. I'm not saying they won't need some e collar reminders when you first bring an infant home. My point is, it just it shouldn't be brand new to them. Here go, please. I know. Callie, come here. Callie, come. Good. Come here. Good girl. Fur. Good girl. 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 Good girl.
firm voice down. <laughs> Good job. Oh, I know. I know. Good job. This is already better than earlier. Yeah. Good job. Oh, good job. Don't do this with your kid, but we're just gonna test out some stuff. I know. I know. Good. Good baby. Good baby. Oh yes. Oh. I love you. I know. Listen to my heartbeat. Yes. Oh yes. Kelly out. Good baby, good baby. But I know you guys think I'm crazy, but think about how soft you might be with your baby and the googly eyes and the ah. Uh, you you want to practice your dog listening to commands when you're when half of you is like this. Now I was a dog walker for a long time and by being a dog walker of multiple dogs, I would literally put the sensitive dogs on one side and the dogs that need a, a like strong, firm hand on the other. And I learned how to be like, hey, knock it off. Good job, guys. Hey, hey, good job. I learned how to do that. And so that's really, really helpful whenever you're a mom of multiple children or you're a mom or dad with a baby and a dog because uh, you have to be able to do that sometimes. You have to be able to be like, it's okay, hey, get back, knock it off, O-U-T, go, go, go on, good job, baby. And you feel nuts, but that needs to be a, a, natural, a natural thing, a natural habit. And I'm sure it doesn't come natural to everybody. It took a lot of practice when I did dog walking and had to develop that skill but it's a skill that's gonna, gonna be really useful you know, down the line. So I just wanna point that out to everybody to go ahead and practice that. It's, it's, really, it's really important and it'll save you some real time in the future.